We now get down to the uh, budging store itself and people that uh, worked and ran the store. I'm going to more or less uh, stick to one person that I had more dealings with, I suppose, and you can, um, and that was Mont Lacey or Montague Lacey. Uh, the Lacey family were uh, the oldest, well-established uh, family in the village. And uh, I think Mont, when I knew him, was a, a widower. But he had two sons that lived with him. One I've mentioned before was quite a, a, a great swimmer, and that was Dennis. And then there was a younger son, uh, Ron, who uh, worked locally as well. The uh, Mont was not a tall man, but rather robust, shall we say. And he was about five foot four or thereabouts. And always wore a long white apron, which uh, covered his trousers almost to just above his shoes. And uh, he looked after the uh, delicatessen side of the store. Uh, cheese, ham, and uh, those things were his uh, forte. Mind you, the store itself uh, uh, relied on a lot of bulk food. One of the bulks, of course, was tea. And it used to come in a big plywood a chest and had uh, come that way all the way from India and uh, it was sort of uh, pa um, uh, silver paper lined. It wasn't aluminum foil as we know it today but silver paper lined uh, mainly to keep any damp out I think and uh, to keep the tea itself dry. But um, I, I used to like the empty tea chest because they made very good rabbit hutches. And uh, so I'd uh, need a rabbit hutch or need to get, make an extra couple of rabbit hutches. I would go and say to Mont, uh, have you any empty tea chests, uh, Mr. Lacey? And uh, he would say, I've got a job for you. Come and sweep the floor. Uh, in the warehouse and put the uh, uh, sweepings and so forth in the dustbin and uh, you can have a couple of uh, empty tea chests and I thanked him very very much. Yes so that was uh, Mont Lacey a well-known character and uh, well loved by the people. The uh, store manager was a uh, a gentleman who lived above the store and uh, I think he was single but his name was Stan Boone B-O-O-N with an E attached. So there's my story of budgings and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.